All right, guys. Uh, I get questions every once in a while. <laughs> I guess I need to talk about it. Is what on earth is that on your mouthpiece and your trumpet? Well, I'm dating myself here a little bit. Years ago, when the Megatone mouthpieces and such came out, I was in Drum and Bugle Corps. And we had to play the G Bugles, not the B flats. And uh, they weren't really known for intonation. So any little thing we could do to help was, was you know, greatly appreciated. We would actually take gum bands and put them around the mouthpieces to add mass to them and it would help us slot the sound better and even make our sound a little warmer you know because uh, we were playing the, the whole suite uh, for a military band. We weren't playing you know jazz kind of standards and things. So we would do that. Well fast forward several years I was in the uh, archery uh, competition and uh, we would get into like how to dampen the vibrations out of the bow so it didn't hurt our hands and our elbows and everything else um, as we were competing. So uh, I started to realize that some of this stuff can be used in playing trumpet. So all these really are are washers with rubber grommets. You can pick up at any hardware store fairly inexpensive. I think I bought three or four of these for under a dollar. And I get them in different sizes of washers. I get the, a bigger one for a heavier weight and then of course you guys can see that they're a smaller one. So I can experiment with the weight and the distribution. And what's nice about this is that when you put it on your mouthpiece and I always take my mouthpiece with me to the hardware store if I'm going to do this and buy this because I don't know the exact sizes, I'm sorry. Uh, you can move it up and down your mouthpiece to find where the sweet spot is, what you're looking for. Now this is what I found out through my experimentation. Okay, When you add weight to the mouthpiece and you're able to distribute it, it affects how the whole system, the trumpet, the mouthpiece, responds to slotting, whether it be the upper notes, the lower notes, if you put this, you'll find a sweet spot, whether you add more weight to it or you can slide it up and down the mouthpiece. You'll find a sweet spot where the horn has a sound you like and the mouthpiece will slot, or the horn will slot, where it's comfortable and you'll get the best of both worlds. You'll get the sound you want and the slotting that you need. Now, I will warn you, when you're playing a lot of lead and you need to really cut through, you probably don't want to use very many of these or them at all. Um, when I'm trying to really project, I, I want the least amount of mass on here because I want the energy coming out. But when I'm trying to blend, like if I'm working within a section or I do a lot now, I play alongside a piano now uh, as, as an accompanist when I'm performing in churches and things, I, I will have you know, a considerable, you know, I'll have four or five of these on there uh, to give me the slots I want, but also to warm up my sound a little bit. That's how I discovered it and, and, um, and I use it to that. So let me give you a quick demonstration here. All right, we'll, we'll start with my uh, Bach mouthpiece here. And this is a deep one. This is my 10 and a half C. Uh, and I'll just play a little snippet here. Okay, so you get the idea of the sound there. And I know I definitely need a couple of these because I don't like the way that felt. <laughs> that, did, that didn't slot the well, very well for me. Right, we're going to add one. We're going to put it about halfway. That's a good place to start. You can go all the way to the edge of the mouthpiece. All right, let's see if I feel any different or here. Now, it could be a placebo effect, too. I don't know. But, man, that feels better. I feel like those notes slotted in. And I already know what I like on this setup, too. But I'm just going to show you here. All right, there's two. Okay. Sorry, I should kick out that D. I'm just doing demonstration. Sorry, Mom, if you're listening. All right. And here's the one I really like. I have a small one at the end because when I played it with three big, large, uh, it 
just didn't it it overdid it. it it slotted really nice but then the sound quality wasn't what i wanted all right so i like to keep it close to the middle in this case it's going to be up snug against the receiver and this is where i usually like it <laughs> Okay, so I hope that helps and gives you something you guys can work with. Uh, again, they're just little grommets and washers you can use to adjust uh, your sound quality and your slotting with it. Um, I'm a big believer in them because they, they've worked for me, and I've been doing this for about six years with it. Uh, so give it a try. If you find some other sweet little tips with it, please share. All right, thanks, guys.